YouTube. Uh, we're getting ready to do a video here. I've been promising you guys our know, PPH is installing this uh, new turbine to get our PN We're getting ready to bring this down, drop it over here, and we're going to change that stuff out. Than it has been, but we're gonna get this brought down and get it. All right, and there's what we're bringing down. All right, we're gonna bring her down. All right, I'm gonna drop her down on those saw horses, and we're gonna get to work on it. And I'll let you guys watch. All right. All right, guys, got the break on. Alright, there you guys go, we got her down. As you can tell, it's one heavy beast. Alright, there you guys go. She is on the ground. Alright, it's heavy. Alright, be right back. Alright, YouTube. Got the wire I need for the uh, gauge. What we're gonna do, we're gonna set it here somewhere, make it the length that we need. They gotta come from the bottom up. I was hoping from the top down, but since I got the connectors at the top, I can probably fish those all the way down the pole, but I won't be able to get them out of the hole at the bottom. So I can tie this wire to and fish it to the top. So what we're gonna do is give me a length of cable here. It up. This is 200 foot of wire. So when I get the tower built, it's going to go to the tower. So of course the tower. Okay. So make sure we got enough here so we can fish it up through the pole. Then we'll find some electrical tape. Disconnect it from a junction box down here. Take this wire to that, plus another wire to fish it back through. So now I got to bring that power wire back down. wrap that back together so we can get tangled up and we're gonna get some electrical tape and some other parts and continue watching. Hey there YouTube, my friends. Okay, we've already seen in the beginning of this video me taking the pole down and this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna use one of these wires that goes up the pole. Alright, and we'll use that to fish the anemometer wire through or the RPM gauge wire through there. All right, and then what we're gonna do, we'll pull another 20 feet, 40 feet total through, and we'll reattach this wire and pull that 20 feet back through. That way there's a full, that way I don't have to run another wire through there and pull this back down and reconnect it. And here's the junction box where I got everything hooked up at. And we got as a helper here, somebody's kitty. Um, so we're gonna get this done and I'll let you guys watch, okay? Uh, we got this camera and you can see me on the other one. I'm back there. All right, you can see each other. All right. All right, let's set you guys down so you can uh, watch me take this apart. Okay. Very easy. There's that.
Hey YouTube, uh, a lot of my video I lost, the battery went dead so I don't know exactly what I captured so when I do the video editing you will see what we got. Right now we got the uh, gauge installed here, I ain't got bolted down yet because I got the magnet on here so I got to adjust that for the magnet so we got to figure out how we're going to get that adjusted so it can reach that magnet. Other than that YouTube, uh, Please stand by and we'll get her all hooked up. And we're also putting the uh, nine blade hub on this time. We got the 11 blades right here on the ground. So I got to take the blades off that hub and put it on here. Other than that, YouTube, bear with me. We'll get her all up and running. At your tube, um, as you can tell, got the RPM gauge installed. It's right there. Got the magnet right here. It's on a little piece of shim. Let's see if there you guys go. There's the magnet. All right, there's the sensor bolted down. And now we're in the process of soldering that. So we'll let you guys sit here and watch me uh, solder. All right. Yeah, 
and there you go YouTube there's my connection right there all right going to the sensor now what we're going to do we're going to take the excess excess of this and we're going to get it all wrapped up here and I've got some um, ties inside I'm going to tie it all down all right All right, YouTuber. Um, I don't know if you see it up there, but there's a meter up there. I was testing to make sure the length of the cable is going to be okay. All right, down here, you can see the little hall sensor. Let me get you around here so you can see it. All right, and there's the hall sensor. And here's the little magnet. Now look at the LED on the hall sensor. Every time that passes in front of the magnet, you notice that the hall sensor gets a little... It, gets a little brighter that's detecting that the magnets there all right I don't know if you guys can see that let's even get you a little closer see how it gets a little brighter all right that detects that the uh, hall sensor is getting connectivity all the way to the uh, where the meter is so that 200 foot cable I've got is able to read that sensor and power is all able to make it all the way there all right, so there's the sensor. It's on the ground, or the uh, meter. It's on the ground, reading zero. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to have you guys come up here, and I'll have my son move it around a little bit. That way, you YouTube can uh, see how this thing's going to operate. All right. There's my little helper right there. His name's Dylan. Say hello, tube. Hello, tube. tube. Just tube. Yeah. Got to follow instructions. Now let's do it again. There's my little helper. Say hello, Tube. Hello, Tube. All right, that's my buddy. He's going to take and spin this a little bit. And he's just going to move it back and forth so that magnet patches in front of the sensor. All right, and you guys can see the meter. Right now, I've got temporarily hooked up to a battery. Okay. All right. All right, Dylan, go ahead and turn it. See, and then it starts reading the uh, sensor. He's moving it back and forth really fast, so it looks like it's really up high. But if he spun it around, probably get about 3 or 4 RPM. But there you guys go. And that'll be inside and mounted in the box. All right, YouTube, now you can watch me put this uh, turbine tire back up, because now it needs to go back up. So we'll get you back up on the tripod here. All right, YouTube, we got the uh, turbine up. Now I just got to get inside and get everything installed. All right, YouTube, as you can tell, 
we have the RPM gauge up. We have it up right now. Look at that 56 RPMs, three mile an hour is what we're getting out of it right now. And it's dropping down. And now it's going back up. So, this is just a real quick video tubes. Alright, real fast and quick, just to show you how you do have the uh, RPM gauge installed now.